What I saw out of Jalen Hurts last year was a guy who made me want to see more. I, I didn't I didn't see Jalen Hurts run out there and I go, I said, I'm done. I decided he's just a backup. He's a he's a guy who's a Taysom Hill. You're gonna just use him in very no, I, I saw a guy who had poise, who had leadership ability, who's got command of the huddle, who's got respect in the locker room, somebody who's got all of the intangibles. So now once you check off those intangibles, let's get to what he can do on the field. His dual threat ability is tremendous. He can run. He can get you 100 yards on the ground. I don't think that's sustainable for four, five, six years. But for as long as he's got that escape ability and the ability to move outside the pocket, that's an asset. So now you got to work on a little bit of his accuracy issues. And, and I think that's something that for a rookie quarterback, it's understandable. You give him more playmakers. You build a solid offensive line around him. They brought in Devontae Smith. They're bringing in and solidifying even more players in the backfield to go along with Miles Sanders. Maybe you become a little bit more run-oriented. That's going to help the passing game. So I'm excited to see what Jalen Hurts can do. I don't even know that you can have a final determination on him after one season and what could be a rebuilding year, but I think we'll have a clearer idea of Jalen and hurts once we get to 